Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the longest year ever recorded. It is only the second day of autumn, and that makes me want to slam my head on the steering wheel of this tractor. <laughs> I don't know. Um, yeah, we're going to go sell some straw bills. Uh, I don't have much else to do. You know, I said I was going to bail a, uh, make a grass bale and just save it. Yeah, I'm a bonehead. I don't know how I'm going to do that. I tried to do it. I made a nice silage bale. I don't know how to turn that off. Shouldn't there be a way to, like, not use that? Can I, like, just take the paper off or something? Come on, guys. Yeah, so, uh, I cut the rest of this over here, too, and, yeah, got a silage bale out of it. So we added one to our pile, but, yeah, I realized as it rolled into the wrapper, mm -hmm. yeah, there's no way. I can try to force unload and everything, turned it off. Yeah, nothing. It just wrapped its little heart out. Nothing we can do about it. Oh, well. No grass bales for us. You know, I could scoop that up and just... Look, I got a bucket on the tractor. Yeah, I'll just scoop it up and put it in a pile. If it rots, it rots. What happened? All right, what's the worst that could happen? It's laying there anyways. No big deal. All right, let's go sell these things. I think we'll just run them down to... Chellington Farm Barn. Like I say, we can't see a price for these things. Uh, just something we know we can sell. So, yeah, we'll run over there. We're not going to run that way because the gate's open. And it's a real tight squeeze through there. So let's squeeze this way. All right, so we have decided, as my friends from across the pond say, in for a penny, in for a pound, and we are in. So... Nothing really to do this afternoon. And the price of wood chips is now up to like $362 or something ridiculous. Now, I say that's ridiculous and watch. We'll probably get into the middle of winter and the price will be like double that. And none of us will have any wood chips left because we sold them all. But regardless, we're going to sell them all. Or a big portion of them anyways. I'm going to try to buy a grass field next to us. Uh, field, blah, 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 blah. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it's, a, it's a grass field right behind our sugar beet field and across from our other field. It's in the 40s, uh, 40s, yeah, you know what I mean. That field, we're gonna try to buy that one. I think $79,000, I think, which sounds kind of reasonable. So that is a number that is attainable this evening. We'll go sell straw bales, get them out of the way. No sense letting these things deteriorate by chance or... Some sort of misfortune. Um, like I say, we're not going to use them. So, no plans to use them next year either. Let's take that money. So, we'll take this money and get these bales sold. We will... We're going to start carting wood chips up here. And it's going to be a process. Because when we sell them for big, big money... I am going the total wrong way. I'm going through the sawmill now. So when we sell those, oh, can I sell them at his place? Come on, buy my bales, buy my bales. That would be funny, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah, we'll make the wackadoodle buy them. Awesome. Almost $7,000. Nice. All right, let's go get it. We got a couple more stragglers down there. Terry's barn up while I leave. Yeah, take that. Take that. This guy is a land baron. He is buying up everything up here. Uh, a couple more grass fields up there he owns now. Probably as far as you can see. Oh, well. Oh, well. We're going we're gonna to buy our own fields, right? So, that's what we're doing. $45,000. We are more than halfway there. It is getting late in the evening in autumn, so the sun will be setting early. And uh, that's... That's kind of where we're at. Did we? We talked about this. Where are we? $100,000. <laughs> there goes the tractor, see? Oh, no, it did keep running. I thought it shut up like former minutes didn't. It, it has been shutting off. We talked about this, though, right? Did we do this? Hundred thousand dollars. We could own this. This is this is feasible. Um, we 
could even go cheap, right? We decided that. I don't think we looked at this before. $2,300. We can even get a trailer to go behind it, so. For $3,400. $103,000, We can be set up to harvest this. How much is in there? And how much of a nightmare would that be? Oh my goodness. One row at a time. Does anybody want that kind of nightmare in their life? Can't even see the rows from up here. Which way would you go? You'd go this way. Ugh. Oh, it just fills my heart with dread thinking about it. Hmm. How long before it's ready? Uh, what is that called? Sugar King? Hey, there's no harvest. Oh, man. It's not going to be ready until next year. Huh. Well, we got plenty of time to buy this field then, yeah. Good, good thing we looked at that before we made that mistake. Yeah, there's no more harvest time this year. I was going to say, Sugar King should be a lot taller than that in autumn. Yeah. All right. Never mind. Back to our original plan. We're going to buy a grass field. Like I said, <laughs> what farmer men call it? The indecisive series? I have never seen two grown ass men change their mind more than I have in these 20 episodes. My goodness, it's terrible. Oh, uh, what are you going to do? I don't know. I don't know. I don't see it getting any better. I got to be honest with you. This is just kind of where we're at right now. Uh, fake it till you make it. That's what we're both doing. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go make some money for a little bit. I'm not going to bring you along with me because, uh, well, mostly I drive terribly and I don't want you to see it. So, um, that's a, that's a big part of it. And yeah, it's really not that entertaining, right? So a couple more. Oh, is there literally only two? I am not driving up there for two. Yeah. All right. You guys can stay. We'll get more of you in the future. So on to wood chips. Like I say, when we sell them for big bucks, yeah, I think I started that story and never finished it. We make so much money because we have about eight tons in the trailer and about three times that much in the chipper. It's a modded chipper and just holds a ridiculous amount of wood chips. So we don't have the wood chipper now. We are not going to make $10,000 a trip. We're not going to make uh, very much at all, probably four or five. Yeah, about half that, I would say. Maybe less. That's so going to take a lot of trips because we don't have very much capacity. We're not going to make a whole lot of money. It's not going to be very entertaining at all. I um, think I'll do like I did the other night and throw a movie on the phone here in front of me. Drop my forks off so I don't go stabbing any trees. And uh, I'm just going to start carting stuff and see what kind of money we come up with. And I'll be right back. Yeah. All right, last load, last load for now anyways, we have had enough. We've used well over half of our stockpile and made many, many trips at $2,900 a trip. Oh my goodness. And $2,985, just like the rest of, what do you know? <laughs> surprise, surprise. Um, woo. All right, so we're going to buy a grass field. Also, I forgot about our poor little workhorse trailer that we've had from the beginning. I think it's time to let it go. And then knowing old Zeke, he'll give us a few thousand dollars for it, so... Yeah, uh, we're about to, about to be poor. And that trailer we haven't touched since we bought the other one. So the other one is pretty much a all-purpose dude there. We are crashing all over the place. A phenomenal display of driving. Alright. Anyways, we haven't touched it in a while. The poor little thing. It has definitely, definitely earned a rest. And we, uh... We need the money. So, we'll drop this off. Hook up to the trailer. I had kind of parked it up in the bushes and, uh, really? Really couldn't see it that well. So, I kind of forgot about it over there. But yeah, we haven't, uh, 
I don't see a whole lot of logging in the second year. We've reached a gentleman's agreement with Mr. Farmer Min. Uh, nobody is going to buy the logging area over there. Uh, I think he's right. I think it would be just a race to buy that. And then you would pretty much be hard to beat after that. There's probably a million dollars worth of wood in there. And if you were doing any other kind of field work on top of that, yeah, there, nobody would be able to, to overcome that. So, yeah, I don't think that would be very fun. So n neither one of us are going to buy that. So I don't think there'll be a lot of logging in the second year. So I don't think there's a whole lot of things we're going to use this trailer for. Uh, the other one will auto load the wool pallets for us. It auto loads every kind of bale, holds wood. Yeah, it does everything. We are going the wrong way. Oh, I forgot where we were going there. All right, well, let's go see Mr. Zeke. Let's go take this thing down to the store. Take a ride by our new field, check it out. We need to fertilize it, I'm sure. Uh, even if it needs plowing, we're not going to do that until the winter. Or, I suppose, not the winter, huh? Until after we mow it. Mm, let's see, where's that? Where is that? Not that one. Already own that one. So it must be this one. Yeah, because this is the road to our house. Oh, wait. Yeah, that's our sugar beet field. Yep, definitely. Coming out of the bushes. Open that one. Mr. Kenneth Fletcher temporarily owns our field. 48. Yeah, that's the one. $79,000 purchased. We now have $1,900 in the bank. Oh, we are poor again. But we have... Let's see, what's that look like? Take plowing off. Ooh. We might be able to throw the last stage of fertilizer on that one. Fabulous. Uh, doesn't need lime either. Or does not until, you know, it might change once we cut it. But, wow, that's a pretty good deal. So far, everyone we've bought has had zero fertilization on it, so that's good. All right. We got a field. Look at us. Yay. Things. We got things. We got a... I don't know if I've ever been to town this way. I wonder if I should cut across in front of the castle just so I know where I'm at. That is the way we were traveling to all those bales. So this must be the store up here. Okay. We'll be okay. We'll find it. I'm sure. We'll figure something out. Oh, wait. Gotta go slow. Where are those cameras at? Other side of town? I get the old wackadoodle all the time. It's pretty funny. Is this it? No, it's a stoplight. Could drive on the right side of the road. Uh, yep. Alright. Crash. Well, not going to get a speeding ticket like that. That's a good way to avoid it. <laughs> Just tear the fence down before you get there. Perfect. Easy as that. Alright, I heard the hay rack going on over there. That must mean business as usual. We should really buy one of these fields around here. We can just... Whoa. Man. I think something's wrong with this trailer. We're going to have to drop this thing off. Good thing we'll let old Zeke have that one. There you go, buddy. Grandma only took it to church on Sunday, right? Hey. $3,200. Zeke. You're a generous soul, my friend. Alright. Excellent. We got a little bit of money. $5,200. We got a little bit of field. About three acres worth. And not a lot else to do. So, let's head back. Throw some fertilizer. <laughs> Throw some fertilizer on it. And get that thing mowed and bailed. That will be the extent of our evening, I believe. Whoa, whoa, hello. Ow. Yeah, that will be that'll be good enough for us. 
Uh, we will get into the last day of autumn. Uh, I think Mr. Min is waiting on time to pass as well. I think we're both about caught up at this point. So we'll both be uh, on the same page, ready to move forward. And um, tomorrow is the last day of autumn, so it has to be time to harvest. I am certain there will be onions harvested up north and sugar beets harvested down here to the south. And, yeah, we'll see who has a head start on the money making. I got a feeling that dude, I don't know where he's going to put his onions. I'm not sure if he's thought about that yet or not. Uh, we do have a place to put our sugar beets. It's going to require some carting up the hill there, but um, going to be a pain in the butt with only one cart. Oh, no. I just thought about that. We only have one tractor. We got to pull the lifter. We would have to unhook the lifter. Drive the tipper up there. Oh, we might have to sell some more wood chips just to just to lease a tractor. That's gonna that's gonna bum me out. I don't want to do that. That's money wasted right there. I have nowhere else. I mean, I can't like fill the lifter up and drive the lifter up here to the. That's sugar beets right there. I was going to say, if I could get... If there was a fence right here... You feasibly could just drive the lifter up there and unload it. It would be a pain in the butt and you'd have to make a lot of trips. But man, this whole... This whole year so far for us has been a pain in the butt. So, we're used to that. I could... Mm, Take the lifter out here. I mean, it's... Nah, it's not really doable. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry. Yeah, that would be... We're going to have to come up with a plan there. I wonder how cheap a tractor we can find. I really don't want to lease one. You know me. Not what we want to do. Alright, let's see. That just happens to be the thing I'm looking for there. Oh, wow. Got 94% in it, too. It's a good day. All right, let's go get this thing fertilized. Get that knocked out. Get it mowed. And uh, wrap this thing up. Yeah, like I say, I think everybody right now is just uh, waiting. Waiting on the next step. Grab and wait. So I'll be right back. All right, we went to the store to see Mr. Zeke, and we're going to try this little experiment after all. <laughs> he had this little baler here. I forgot about this thing. He leased us this baler for $140. That seems like a good price to do a tiny little grass experiment. So I know they're going to rot. We know that, right? And since I know that, I've never actually done it. So I've never actually made a bunch of grass bales and let them disappear. So I don't know how long it takes. Uh, you know, if it takes two or three days, that would get us through the winter, right? You know, I don't... Being on three-day seasons, it would probably only last one day. Well, that certainly looks like a straw bale, considering I just leased this. That's weird. It's definitely a straw bale. That looks like a straw bale, too. Hmm. Now what's going on? This wet grass windrow. What's going to come out? Let's see what we got. Right through the sugar beets. That's weird. Why is it making straw? This isn't... <laughs> We're destined not to get this test done, aren't we? This is not going to happen. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> Definitely a straw bill. That's so weird. <laughs> All right. All righty. <laughs> One more try. What? Uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do with all these straw bills now. At least the grass I can scoop up and feed the sheep. 
I don't think I'll be able to scoop anything up if I use it all or whatever. Definitely straw. That's so weird. Alright. Well, we're done with that experiment. That's failure. Jeez. Yeah, we'll give away that 0.16 tons of whatever it is now. We don't even know what it is. All right, get rid of that thing. That was a failure. Jeez. All right. Something we know is not a failure. Uh, price is a 370 something last time I saw. It was... Survey says... Where's it at? 378. Yes. Yes, thank you, please. Whoa. Missed that altogether. All right, let's try this again. A little bit better. No, still missed it, but we'll uh, we'll take that. We're gonna go cut some more trees down. We're gonna pretend like we're supposed to be doing such a thing. I know I unfold that thing. Yeah, I know I need to unfold it. I tried to do that. Thank you. All right, we're gonna go over to the dodgy lands over here. Um, I think we've, <laughs> Farmer Men and I have come to an understanding. That little patch right there on the hilltop, we're going to take that. He's going to take this uh, to the left side of the road here. I think they're about equal in trees. And uh, that way we can stay off of each other's turf. Because this, yeah, this farm ain't big enough for the both of us, mister. Matter of fact, he's already got one truck cut down over there, doesn't he? We never did go back for that thing. That one we couldn't figure out why it was up there. Oh, crash. Alright. We're gonna go cut some trees. Now that we have this thing back on the front, we can sell for $10,000 again. You know, assuming we can get to them would be crucial. You have to be able to get through the gate. Not, It's not gonna work. Yeah, we're going to go over there to the hilltop. We're going to fill all this up. We're going to make some more money. And then we're going to fast forward night. Uh, Mr. Min is already done everything he is going to do. As far as I know. <laughs> I hope so. We're going to do it anyways. And I think we're both ready to harvest something. So uh, enough with the wood jibbing and the, the bales. I don't know if I mentioned, I got 24 bales off that field, by the way. 24 more silage bales that we added to the pile. So we have quite a pile. As soon as they're ready and as soon as the price is pretty decent, we're going to be in good shape. Well, I got just nothing for that, huh? One of those trees that's buried under the map. We're just getting the limbs here. At least we could clean them up, though. All right, well... Yeah, like I say, that's what we're going to do. We're going to work through the night. It's starting to get dark. I don't like to record in the dark. And not a lot else to do until we skip to the next day. So here we are. We're back to wood chipping. We're back to silage bales. We are making progress, though. We've bought another field. We are expanding. We're going to try to catch this guy. I think what we're even going to do is start plowing grass fields and we're going to plant uh, macanthus in some the grass fields have to be planted uh, plowed and planted anyways so I'm thinking with that short harvest window uh, if you could get the macanthus harvested really early in the spring you could still plant grass and we would still be cutting grass again by the end of next year so kind of a two for one thing there is what we're going to try this is the land of eternal chips right here I don't think this is going to work so I'm going to go try something else but uh, I want to thank you for coming and hanging out with me. I'm Golf Cart Jockey, and I want you to have a good day.